Hey guys, how's it going? Comparing here. So a lot of people, probably close to everybody actually, who's been playing a new pad of Exile League, has been trying out the Spectral Throw ability. And, you know, this isn't quite so because it's really overpowered or anything. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it definitely fills a role in melee skills that it was lacking. And, you know, I kind of want to go over all of this, how it works, because I'm sure a lot of people who are watching the stream who are just checking out the game for the first time have practically no idea about what's going on, so it'll be quite important to clear things up. So, this is my character. <clears throat> I use Double Strike with Spectral Throw and Leap Slam. I don't really use Leap Slam for, man for you know, damage or anything, but it does pretty good damage. I use Double Strike for my single target and Spectral Throw for the large portion of my AoE. I am sword build using a pretty, uh, pretty good sword. Uh, you know, it gets a lot better than this, but you know, it can be pretty difficult to get a sword that good. The reason I chose range is because ranger gets a lot of sword nodes, and the sword nodes are really important for spectral throw because they do increased physical damage. And in this game, there's a very big separation between increased physical damage and increased melee physical damage. Because increased physical damage is not melee, and that's important to know because spectral throw is not melee. So if you want proof, you know, you can look at the ability. Spectral throw is a projectile attack. You can see this right under the uh, nameplate. And when you look at another skill, which is melee, like double strike, it is attack and melee. So things like melee physical damage, things like the first few starting points of the duelist, will work on double strike in this case, but will not work on spectral throw. Similarly, your strength bonus, you can see here that 5 strength gives 1% melee physical damage. And again, spectral throw is not melee. So to have your strength impact the damage of your spectral throw, which is another significant source, you need iron grip. The increase the physical damage from strength applies to projectile attacks as well as melee attacks. Because I'm using both projectile and melee, this is a very good uh, point to get. I'll upload this build for those curious and uh, what I'm planning to do with the ranger in the future. But overall, I want to show you guys how it works. So I'm using two auras, so all my mana is reserved, and all my skills are linked with blood magic. You can see Spectral Throw doesn't actually one-shot the monsters, even though this, this is Merciless Act 2. But it does a pretty good job, because there is added efficiency from um, launching a, you know, a wave of Spectral Throws and running past into other monsters, and having your Spectral Throw do damage from the previous set of monsters that you attacked. And this is a really important factor because uh, while the damage of one spectral throw is not, you know, it's not tremendous or anything, you can use it to attack multiple packs. And you do this by attacking a pack from behind and leaping behind another pack like that. And this kind of makes spectral throw a really cool ability. I use Spectral Throw with uh, LMP, so every time I throw my weapon, I throw three weapons, but each target can only get hit once, and the reason I use LMP is just to cover a wider area. I do lose some damage, but it's not really that big of a deal. It is important to note, though, that I've seen people use GMP, and while I haven't really extensively tried it, it does seem that GMP is a pretty bad ability. Now, Spectral Throw, you can see that it launches the weapons, and they come back at a certain range. At this range, it seems that the target can get shotgunned. So I think on the receiving end, a target can get shotgunned by Spectral Throw. And you want to, if you're facing like a boss, to really be at exactly this distance. So you can do quite a bit of damage at range. And this is important because this is not really uh, available in other melee skills. So yes, you could use like a ground slam or something like that to hit a target from that range but it wouldn't really do quite the same damage, and it wouldn't really have quite the same effect. So that's pretty important to know. The other links on my Spectral Throw, in addition to lesser multiple projectiles, is Added Fire, Blood Magic, so I can cast it without using mana, and Faster Attacks. I think the best link instead of Faster Attacks would be Weapon Elemental Damage, but because it's a pure evasion chest, and I'm fairly broke right now in Path of Exile, I decided to just to use whatever. Faster attack is almost as good as weapon elemental, but the more attacks that you get in your skill tree, the less of an impact it makes when you use such a gem. For a double strike, it doesn't really matter, but the concept that I want to show you guys is there are gems that are really good for um, you know other abilities that don't really apply to spectral throw, and these are like melee physical damage, because it is a melee support attack, 
spectral throw is not melee, it will not impact the damage of spectral throw. And other things like multi-strike, which is also a melee attack support, will not affect things like spectral throw. So spectral throw doesn't really have that many links that it could, you know, be useful for, but it is a very useful skills. It's a very useful skill in some situations. So it's kind of like a skill that you'd want to use to complement your melee character. And you know, I did build around it, but if I really wanted to, there may be more effective ways to do melee damage. But even still, it's quite a lot of fun to uh, play around with the new skill and to you know really maximize the dynamics that are available with this skill really makes the game uh, a lot more interesting so if you haven't tried it you are missing out a little bit and you probably should and for those that have I hope I've informed you guys about exactly how you want to scale this ability to do some real damage so hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys tomorrow